بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله على سيدنا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم someone asked an interesting question which I, so i thought I'd, I'd give an answer um, to it tonight that they asked that what is afia right afia um, because they said that you know they heard that the prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم said ask allah for afia ask allah for well-being, but it's sometimes also used to refer to forgiveness, they said. So what is afia? And the Prophet ﷺ said that, سَلُوا اللَّهَ الْعَافِيَ Ask Allah for well-being. For the servant can ask Allah for nothing more comprehensive than afia, than well-being. And we know that's one of the things we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for, a lot in Ramadan. So the, the ulama say that when one asks Allah for afia, there are at least four different considerations in what one asks for. There's a distinguished um, Ottoman scholar, Alama Ahmed ibn Umar al-Izmiri, who says that when we ask Allah for afia, he you know, says, Allahumma inna nas'aluka al-afia, for example, oh Allah, we ask you for well-being, what it means is that we want it to continue and to be completed. Dawamuha wa tamamuha wa shukru alayha. And to be grateful for the well-being that we have. And the fourth is to behold the state of well-being that we have as being from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Right? So for it to continue and for it to be completed and for us to be grateful for it and to behold it as being from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Um, and when we ask for Allah for well-being, for afia, it is for one to be free of every kind of harm. Right? You know, every kind of harm and every thing that results in harm. Right? So it is to be safe from harm itself, of every kind, and from everything that leads to harm. And some of the scholars of the Arabic language said that afia, although there's dispute about this, afia, well-being, is from raf'ul afa, from lifting Destruction itself, halak, lifting all that causes perishing or that results whose consequences are perishing. Right? And what are, what are its expressions? Right? What is the expression of afia? It, it is that one be free of harm in both deen and dunya and akhirah. Right? In one of the very famous um, du'as in one of the very famous um, collections of supplications um, by you know, called Hizb al-Bahr by Imam al-Shadili Imam Abu al-Hasan al-Shadili he, he says in the beginning that we ask you for as-salamata wal-afiyati wa as-salamata wal-afiyati fi Dinina wa dunyana in our religion and our worldly life, right? and in our this life and the next, right, and in our this life and the next. So afia is truly one of the most comprehensive of matters that we could ask Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. Four. Right? It's one of the most comprehensive of matters that we could ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for. And the key to asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for afia is that we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for the most comprehensible, comprehensive, sorry, possible expression of afiyah. Then when we say, Allahumma inni yasaluka 
Afia, O Allah, I ask you for well-being, right? You consider those four qualities. For it to continue, to be completed, to be grateful for it, and to behold one state of well-being from Allah, but then to consider the different types of well-being, whether it be physical well-being, emotional well-being, mental well-being, spiritual well-being, well-being in one's worldly affairs, well-being in one's social affairs, well-being in one's deen, well-being in the ways in which one is seeking the good pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Right? So we try to make it as encompassing as possible. We try to make it as encompassing as possible. So that, you know, nothing escapes the state of Afia, right? Nothing esca- escapes the state of Afia. So, like any other dua, we should remember the words of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam that that we should ask Allah subhanahu wa taala with presence of heart. فَإِنَّ اللَّهَ لَا يَقْبَلُ دُعَاءَ قَلْبٍ غَافِلٍ or قَلْبٍ لَاهِنٍ Allah does not accept the supplication of a heedless heart. Now, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is more generous than our, than our imaginations. Right? But, we, to the extent that we reflect on the meanings of what we ask Allah in our dhikr, or in our dua, to that extent, will the dhikr or the dua be fruitful. Right? So we should reflect on the meanings of afia, right? Of afia when we um, ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for it. And if we ask Allah to be free of harm, right? then we are also asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to be in a state of complete good. Right? So, afia has a sense of being free of harm in any way. But it is, you know, why is it a great per- perfection? Because you say it's like, say, I don't want bad milk. It doesn't mean it's good milk. Right? The reason we're, at, we're asking Allah that we be free of harm is that we want to protect all good. Right? So afia has both a negation of all harm at every level, but it also encompasses within it being possessed of every possible good. Right? Being possessed of every possible good. Not just in our deen, but also in our dunya. Right? And not just in simple ways, right? We think of the highest of meanings. Right? We don't want to lose out of the highest possible of meanings. Right? So, if you ask Allah for afia, it is not just, okay, I want health, and I want religious practice. But part of afia is that you are aspiring for the highest possible meaning. And you want to be protected from being harmed away from it by anything. So if you are seeking the love of Allah, right, then you're asking Allah for afia from everything that would hold you back from being be- beloved to Allah. And to preserve all the qualities that would ensure belovedness to Allah. When you ask Allah for afia and you want to be of those who are close to Allah, then you ask, you're asking Allah for afia, for well-being, from being protected from everything that will harm you and keep you from closeness to Allah and to have within, have encompassed within you 
all the qualities of those close to Allah. If you want to be of those who behold Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Similarly, you want well-being from all that holds you back from beholding Allah. And to possess all the qualities of those who behold Him subhanahu wa ta'ala. And likewise, every meaning. Right? Likewise, every single meaning. So we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that He grant us of these meanings and that He grant us complete afu and afia, complete well-being um, outwardly and inwardly and in every expression. وَصَلَّى اللَّهُ عَلَى سَيِّدِنَا وَنَبِيْنَا مُحَمَّدْ وَعَلَى آلِهِ وَصَحْبِهِ وَسَلَّمْ وَالْحَمْدُ لِلَّهِ رَبِّ الْعَالَمِينَ